Hey, do you have room for one more? We already have four. I rhyme, so it must be true. Hey, Fiona, how is your summer? Transformative. Hope you didn't change too much. They went, I'm gonna grab a seat. How about right here? Imogen, I would love, love to sit with you, but I uh, promised that girl. And uh, don't you dare ditch me. <laughs> Bye. Who wants to be stuck with that loser? But, of course, Imogen is welcome. For realsies? <sighs> Want to know a secret? I've been hoping to be friends since we did that play together. You have? <laughs> Listen, why don't you come over before? We can get ready together. Somebody pinch me! Or not. <laughs> That is quite the dress. You like? I love. But you know, I have a dress that would look even better. Take a look. Oh, um, that dress is very elegant. Imagine it with your hair down. What's wrong with my hair? Nothing. I love your hair. I was just thinking about the dress. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to change me so I don't embarrass you at your party. The dress would be one less thing for people to make fun of. And some of the girls I invited were a little surprised that your name was on the guest list. I don't care what people think. But if you did, we could have a lot of fun this year. All of us, together. Let's see if the dress fits. Great. You can change in here. Doesn't she look gorgeous? To get the party started. What about traits? Imogen was just kidding, right, Imogen? Yeah, totally. We should play anything but traits. Uh-huh. What is it? This is tequila. Brought it from home. Leave Fiona alone. She's an alcoholic. That's not funny, Imogen. Yeah, Imogen. Why would you make that up? Well, if it's not true. Coming? I used some orange juice and a slightly stale croissant. The calf wasn't exactly baking fresh this morning. Um, about last night. You don't have to apologize. For what? Getting caught. The only thing that matters is that when you go back to school this afternoon, you can't say that anyone else is involved. So you want me to be the scapegoat? It's only fair. You're the only one who got caught. It wasn't my fault. I was listening to my iPod in the theater, and next thing I know, the door was locked. Who would have done that? Marisol was with me. Why is it so hard for you to just try and fit in with everyone? You were different last year. And all you care about is being accepted by the populars. Tell Simpson anyone else was involved and we'll deny it. It's 20 of us against one of you. Enjoy your croissant. Not impressed, Imogen. This is not the way to begin a school year. How'd it go? Look, I want to make it up to you. A movie? A movie? Or dinner? There's this great new Italian place that makes the best tiramisu. I'm suspended for a month on probation indefinitely. For tinfoiling the calf? For breaking in after hours, vandalizing school property. Oh, and did you know I busted a vending machine? That's insane. I thought so too. So I tried to tell Simpson the truth. He said it was suspicious that I waited until after the punishment was doled out. 
Look, I'm so, so sorry. I can't believe I wanted to be your friend. You're just as bad as Katie and Marisol. Maybe there's something I can do. Leave me alone. Brought you a coffee. Extra strong. Looks like we'll need it. So you were right. They turned on me. I always do this. I always mess things up. And this year, I don't have Holly J to fix everything for me. I don't have anybody. I know it doesn't make up for it, but I managed to get your suspension reduced. I'm really sorry, Imogen. How am I supposed to say mad at you when you're such a sad sack? <laughs> if you want, we can lust over jocks together. Can we? <laughs> and play stupid games like truth or dare. Oh, and find girls like us to pick on. I have a better idea. Let's get Katie and Marisol back. Now you're talking. Do you have a plan? No, but we have all year to figure it out. <laughs> hey, after all this, I hope we can be friends. Depends. Hmm. Can I give you a makeover? Sure. Good. Oh, now it's a start. <laughs> Okay, you are a weirdo. <laughs> yep. You're gonna like it. <laughs> Spin. Mm, we got nothing. Just as well. Your last few schemes weren't very good. Oh, my arms are killing me. When do we get to the fun stuff, like deciding where to put the hot tub? I think we should concentrate on making the floors level first. Whoa. These sketches are amazing. My dad taught me. When he's not teaching at the university, he consults on unique urban scaping projects. We moved around a lot when I was a kid. I moved from place to place when I was younger, too. Really? We're lucky that the universe brought us together, then. We must be soulmates. <laughs> So, uh, are you and Eli gonna get together and date or what? Don't ask me about him. I never know what that boy's thinking. Well, you were totally obsessed with him during the play. Feelings like that don't just go away. I was obsessed, but I locked those feelings in a box, strapped the box to a rocket, sent the rocket to the moon, and if I ever need feelings for Eli again, I know where to find them. On the moon. <laughs> all thanks to Imogen. She's brilliant, so fun, and so hilarious. And so pretty. Uh, I have a dumb crush on Imogen. Really? I never would have guessed. Oh, are you going to talk to Imogen? About my crush? As if I'm putting my feelings aside for the service of greater good. My two best friends falling in love. They just need a little nudge. Bye, Mom. Love you. Sorry. Make a lady wait, why don't you? So what's the plan for finishing up our mini house project? 40% of our life skills class mark. Ring any bells. Yeah, of course. Uh, let's meet up tonight. Okay, good. Let's go in. Uh, now, Eli. He told me that he's ready to take your relationship to the next level. Why were you talking to him about me? Uh, your name just casually came up. So I asked him, and he's very into you. Really? I thought we were just friends. I'm so excited. Why are you excited? 